This is our last stop in the Northern Cremosphere. This is part six of Donkey Kong Country 3. Next stop, the Chaos Core. Or is it Chaos Core? And you can't even swim up. Anyway, let's begin our first stop. Conveyor Rope Clash. Well, they weren't kidding with that. Yeah, fall your death. I had no idea that was there. But seriously, this conveyor belts move way fast. How many how many of them are there? Wait, they're now summon reverse? What is this? Up down. Wait, wait, what? Thanks for the end. Yeah, I get royally screwed. I guess slowing down didn't work. What next? Well, that didn't last me long. Come on. already frustrating enough especially when you have to, when you just finished persona 5 royal and now you just want to move on to finishing up what needs to be finished including fire emblem of all things Yep. Come on. I already lost two lives already within the first few minutes. This means my work in going through everything is going to take a little longer than it should. Thankfully, I won't need to use Funky's flights or anything like that. Made it in on time. Good. Way too fast. Uh. Nice. That's it. Guess I got them all. I had no idea that was there. Or you know, I guess. Oh boy. Okay. 
Can't forget the two up. Very clever. No, I'm not gonna lie, that was clever. Well, at least that takes care of everything. Now, Baffle's code room. Hi, hi there, Kongs. How are you doing? My name's Baffle, master of code. I've got a problem at the moment. I can't break a code. I've been working on... Maybe I should reflect on it. Hmm, Kong, is that a mirror you've got there? If it is, could I have it to solve my code? Uh, no problem. Hey, look at this. It was a riddle written backwards. It says, to open the gate, at the tombstones were eight. Well, what do you reckon that means? Can you figure this one out, Kongs? I'll have to look into that. Next stop is Creepy Caverns. Really? They're now introducing creepy barrels? Yep, there's a gimmick. There is a gimmick with this level. Kitty, deal with these guys, please. Yeah, only Kitty can deal with them. But seriously, who thought it was a good idea to bring out these kinds of barrels? Yeah, they're easy enough to predict. Nope. Uh-uh. No. No way. That one. to be done. Oh, this is easy enough. Not gonna lie. Already at 51 now. Now let's continue. Huh? Where'd you come from? Twitter, my old friend. You'll be of use here. Nope. No. -uh. No. -uh. Nope. That one. Okay, now this one is just a really dumb idea. Yeah, how are you supposed to do this? Are you kidding?
and sometimes it gets you trapped in stuff like that. Which is why you gotta do Oh, come on! Are you seriously kidding me? Mm. Yep, these barrels are gonna be a real pain. Finally! How long did that take me? A lot. The thing with these barrels, those ghost barrels, you end up hitting those, you're in trouble. Thanks for your help, my friend. It means a lot. See what I mean? They don't consider that threatening. God, nope, nope, yes. Really? Nope, that one. Oh my god. See what I mean? I did get the DK coin, so at least that's good enough. Okay. Yeah, because that barrel was needed. Squitter, you helped me out, and that I appreciate. Nope. Nuh-uh. What an adulterated weakness. Well, that's working. How did I not get hit is beyond me. Nope. Nuh uh. Yes. I don't need that since I already got it. Nope. Nuh uh. That. Come on. Yeah. 
Yeah. Good enough. I'd rather not want to know what's down there. Nice, I got everything. I guess I figured out what the riddle is. You gotta form a figure eight around these two dots. Like that. This is the level sewer stockpile. Nice. That's another banana fairy. That makes five, isn't it? Next stop, Lightning Lookout. Oh, goody. What is this? The Thunder Plains? Okay, maybe it is. Okay, so the lightning pretty much homes in on your location. And you need to constantly be on the move. Oh, that's terrific. So not only gotta deal with lightning, you gotta make sure you don't die. Oh, what? No, seriously, what? Oh no. Yeah, because I need that. The fact that lightning can actually destroy your barrel really does say a lot. That's an instant case of electrocution. If it hits the water, you're instantly electrocuted. Which is why water is a massive no-go. And it still is. And it can still hit you even while airborne? That's weird. Yeah, this is gonna be the pits. Lightning lookout is the one thing I hate having to deal with. about the bonus levels let's mash some baddies provided we survive or not thank god we can try again Moving on. Wow. 
Really? I still get hit even despite the fact that I'm not in the lightning's range? Seriously, how is it so bad with that bad hitbox? How did I get hit? So it's basically a matter of prediction. That means you just cannot stop. You have to keep moving. This level is gonna cost me all my lives. serious I swear but lightning isn't just nonsense I swear, does a light does a lightning have some kind of homing capability? Ah. This is just not my day. Okay, I already lost 10 lives now because of this. This level is just annoying. Annoying because of the lightning, and it's just... How are you going to be able to avoid all that? Seriously. I see, so I can't just rush it, huh? That's fine. You have to tip. Paying attention. Yep, I can see it. Now I know. 
And that took too long. And that was not supposed to happen. Gotta pay attention to the sky. Yeah, now I'm understanding. I already lost, like, what, 12 lives? Thank you! That's okay! Funny how the red ones are unaffected by lightning. Good! Access the second bonus! Are you serious? They now added lightning on that too? Get me out of here! I'm done with this! Oh, come on, I didn't jump high enough just for that? Wow. Thankfully, I was able to almost get everything. I hope. Yep, there are two of them. Yeah, you move too slow, but lightning gets you. It homes in on your position. Thank God for Red Zingers. Ugh. 
Really? And they get zapped. Just as I was about to jump that. This is ridiculous. And I already took care of both bonuses and the DK coin. Can I at least finish the level? Thanks. Get me out of there! <sighs> this is what I get for having to focus so much. Let's save. We have now five banana fairies. And we're at 65% completion. Thank God I ain't coming back to that. Now it's time for Coin Dozer Clamber. Wait. Wow, really? Yep, guess we now know where those things came from. All right, found the first one. On one hand, this may be disadvantageous. But on the other, these guys are actually proven to be useful. At least now we know where that comes from. I take it back.
miss the O. But I did not miss this. Thanks, guys. You guys were actually a big help. Makes sense. Oh, my God. See you around. Thanks for the help. Now this level. Poisonous Pipeline. Oh, wait. What the? Wait, why are my controls reversed? No, only the left. Okay, now this is not fair. This is seriously not fair. Basically, the, as long as you're in the water, your controls are flip-flopped. Basically, down is up and up is down. Oh wait, no. Maybe it isn't. Damn it. Oh, it's only left to right. Left and right, they flip the controls. This means you can't just rush in carelessly. You gotta play, you gotta take your time. Okay, got the first bonus. Seriously on guard. Guess on guard maybe really is needed for this. I am never gonna think of reverse controls the same way again. Thanks, on guard. You were a big help. No, I'm serious. Playing this in reverse controls is really something. I take it back. We got one out of the two, so that's good enough. That's not something. <sighs> this is why trying to do this is the pets. They 
weren't kidding around when they said this was dark. I actually need on guard for this. And on guard would actually prove to be beneficial. I already got the bonus level. I already got the coin for this. That's gonna come in handy. This comes even more handy. Thanks for your help on guard. Wow. Let's not forget this. Come on. It's bad enough you're doing this backwards, but it's worse up when you don't even know what the heck to do. Bloody hell. Isn't that nice? Finally, the second bonus stage. At least the game's now nice enough to provide a path.
Get us moving, please. I am not used to playing with controls inverted. Thanks. Jeez, that was annoying. I really was not used to this. Now it comes to this. Castle Chaos. Castle Chaos. Get Kong's back. This time, Chaos will be victorious. I really didn't learn my lesson from my last fight. What's this? Wait. What is going on? Now I'm curious about this. Very curious. Not to mention the change in music. This is about to get interesting. Yeah, that ought to get ya. But seriously, who's behind all this? What the? K. Rule? Oh no! What have you done? My wife's going to kill me! I used all her bets, pulse, and pans to make him. And then you just cast him aside. As if he were a stack of empty tins. I thought that's what he was. What? How dare you! Chaos was my ticket to world domination! And I have gotten away with it if it wasn't for you meddling kids! What is this, Scooby-Doo? I guess it just isn't your day, is it? Well, you may have roasted my robot, but I'm the master chef around here. And I reckon it's about time your goose was cooked. Bring it. Oh wait, what am I supposed to do with this fight? You're supposed to hit him from behind? That's really unexpected. Thank God it skips into phase two. So that's how you do it. And now he's mixing things up. And he's also getting a bit wackier. I really like that in this game, it lets you go to the next phase without having to do phase one again. He's not the least bit happy though. Okay, he's getting a bit nuts now.
Darn it. Okay. Okay, rules gone a bit crazy. Oh, really? Electrocution now? Oh, wow. They just had to make this boss fight even more insane. Fine by me. Ugh, no! Kitty was the better choice! And I still get hit. This is ridiculous. This is starting to get really, really weird. Very weird. Wait a minute. I don't get hit by the... What? What gives? Wow. What am I supposed to do in this fight? He always starts the fight off with this. Yeah, but after you hit him, he recoils and then he, he hits the cop. This is already going to be all trial and error. Oh, I had no idea you can actually do that. This actually makes the boss fight a little more interesting. Either way, I learned from these and I can actually get better. Okay, got two hits in. And 
This is the uh, where the other shoot goes. Yep, got zapped. I almost had it too. All this is just trial and error. Repeatedly. Just trying to figure out how the entire boss fight works. the right time now yeah you have to hit him and then it causes him to get electrocuted like that Now he's moving faster. Duck again. That was a weak throw, Kitty Kong. Oh, come on! I'm not going through all this again! I gotta wait. Got him. That's one. This one ain't going down without a fight. That's two. Now he's about to do the next phase.
So far, so good. Got him. Will this be enough? What just happened? Oh, I see. Makes sense. I now figured it out. Like getting electrocuted, right? Compared to the other DKC boss fights I've had, this one's the longest. Get zapped, please. Is that it? Thank you! DK- Whoa! My head! What happened? One minute I was dreaming. About the world's biggest pile of bananas. The next, I was a power crazed madman. <laughs> Don't worry, Donkey. Thanks to Dick Dixie, it's over. I'm impressed. I bet even Cranky would be after that performance. Nope, not really. Right, you go this way. Giddy and I'll go that way. You wouldn't hit a guy with glasses, would you? And now they're showing the photo album. So yeah, that's pretty much DKC3, but they're just not over yet. I'm serious, there's still a lot more even afterwards. But what I really like about this photo album is that it shows all the characters in an interesting sort of way. And we also get to learn their names to boot. But yeah, compared to Donkey Kong Country 2, I find DKC3 to be to be a bit in between. No thing is, it's not that it's a bad thing, it's that it's not only more challenging, but also dark for some reason. I'm not kidding, it's darker compared to the others. But I'm not one to judge because I really did enjoy it for what it's worth. But yeah, I will say that he made that a bit dead, made a bit deadly. But I do want to say that I'm sorry. It's just that trying to find my overall thoughts on DKC3 is a bit mixed on it because. Thing is, I played the I played this years ago when I did like YouTube playthroughs and the like, but I never got to finish it. For whatever reason, I never did. And the only reason why I never did was because I then moved on to something else. That was like years ago. 
Well, thankfully there is no excuse now, and I decided to go back into it, and you get this. And I really did like how the game is. It's a bit more challenging than DKC2, but not as forgiving. Well, not really that much forgiving, but sheesh. This game really will test your patience and your persistence. And I only say that as a fact. Although Dixie still plays as she was in DKC2, Kitty Kong, however, very different. He's also heavy. Very heavy, as a matter of fact. Heavy because you can actually use him to break down platforms with the use of the team-up. And he's the only one who can take down heavier enemies. But overall, I do find that Donkey Kong Country 3 is a worthy game. It is surprising that David Wise did not compose the music for this. Instead, we got someone else. And I already detailed all that in part one. Thankfully, he was able to provide the music for the Game Boy Advance port of DKC3. And DKC3 had its own benefits and advantages. So... Yeah, I don't have much else to say. What happens now is that we have to clean things up. We gotta go through every single level in the entire game, find every single banana fairy, every single DK coin, and creme and bonus coin, so that way we can access the last world and hopefully see this entire journey through to the end. And I'm surprised I haven't seen that thing. So yeah, enjoy the rest of the credits. If you enjoy it, be sure to hit the like button. It means a lot. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and click the bell. Helps out big time. Part 7 is where the real fun starts. The cleanup begins. This is Mega Man NG signing off. Peace out. Enjoy the rest. Thank you.
Thank you. 